impregnable walls withstood the longest siege of a fort in Indian history. For eight long years, 20,000 Mughal soldiers tried to capture the seat of Maratha power, which was almost 1,000 kilometers south of Maharashtra. With this, the fort of Jinji passed into the annals of history for its brute might. A high fortress on a hillock 240 meters high, a 16th century palace that stands seven stories tall, and massive granaries that can hold thousands of tons of paddy. These are just few of the many wonders that you can see at what was one of the greatest forts of India, the Jinji Fort in Tamil Nadu. Connected with Draupadi from Mahabharata, with the brave Queen Tarabai of the Marathas, and with the incredible bravery of the Bundela hero Des Singh, Jinji is steeped in history and legends. But despite its spectacular architecture and a very rich history that rivals other great forts like Chittorgarh and Gwalior, the Jinji fort in Tamil Nadu is not very well known. We take you on a journey to Jinji to tell you the story of what was once called the Troy of the East. Located around 160 kilometers from Chennai in Vilipuram district of Tamil Nadu, the Jinji fort was once an important military and commercial outpost on the trade route from the coast of Tamil Nadu to the Deccan Plateau. While the original fortification was built in the 12th century, much of the grand buildings that you see here date back to the 15th and the 16th centuries. Now, for a visitor traveling to Jinji, the impact of the fort is quite dramatic. As you near Jinji, you start seeing this large fort and you get impressed. And just few moments later, you see another fort, which is three times its size. So the fact is that Jinji is not a single fort. It is actually a group of three forts, which is Krishnagiri, the smaller one, the Rajgiri, the large fort, and a third fortification known as Chikli Durg, sadly nothing of which survives today. And these three forts uh, were located on a rocky hill forming a triangle, in the middle of which was the palace area as well as the original town of Jinji. And all these three forts were connected together by a series of fortifications and gates. So this combination of these three great fortifications is what made the great fort of Jinji. Much of what you see at Jinji today was built by the Krishna Panayaka between 1490 and 1520. Most visitors today enter the fort through what is called the Pondicherry Gate, named so as it was extensively renovated by the French during their occupation in the 18th century. As you enter the fort, you come across the palace area. The most spectacular building in the fort is undoubtedly the Kalyan Mehel, which is seven stories high and overlooks a courtyard. It is built in a typical Vijayanagar style of architecture resembling buildings at Madurai, Tanjore and Hampi. A palace of such great height was truly a marvel for the 15th century and as a result, the Kalyan Mahal finds mention in the accounts of the European travellers and merchants who travelled to the court of the Jinji Naika. Beyond the Kalyan Mahal were the royal stables and the Raj Mahal of Krishnapa Naika, which by contemporary accounts was 11 storeys in height. At the centre was the Great Darbar Hall where the Naikas held court. Sadly, the Raj Mahal collapsed during the Mughal invasion in the late 17th century and only the foundations survive. But the great granite seat where the throne of the Nayakas once stood can still be seen here. Just opposite to the palaces is a gymnasium, granaries and a large water tank used by the royal family. The reason why Jinji Fort was considered impregnable and so hard to conquer lies in the granaries. Jinji Fort has more granaries than any other fort in southern India, each of which can store thousands of tons of paddy. This meant that the people inside the fort had access to food and water from the river nearby, even during the time of long sieges. And this is the secret of its invincibility. 
Sadly, despite its great past, it is still not very well known beyond Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. But the glory of Jinji lives on in the numerous heroic tales, ballads and the stories that it has spawned. And even though it might not be as famous as the forts of Gwalior or Chittorgarh, it is spectacular and unmissable.